So in today's video, guys, I want to go over exactly how support players can learn their role and improve at exactly what they need to do. This is a critical role for all types of team game modes, and you guys definitely need to pay attention during this video. Now, be sure to use code SonataYT in the Fortnite item shop if you guys do want to support me. Now, let's hop right into this video. So to overview the role of what support players should do, there's a couple of key ideas that you guys should try to understand. The first thing is that there are many different types of support players in team game modes. You can be a support player, but also another role at the same time. A support player is not really a full role, it's more half of what you're doing in a role along with half of the other part. Now you can be a support player as an IGL, and support your team by keeping them healthy, well-equipped, and alive. So you're gonna be IGLing and leading the game, but you're also gonna be supporting your team. Your other player will most likely be a fragger, so that's how you're gonna divide the roles up amongst the team. Then you can also be a support player as a fragger, in this case, you're going to support the IGL by trying to keep them alive and trying to get a lot of eliminations in order to restock on loot, drop the mats, and just overall try to get as many eliminations and keep the team alive as long as possible. Now, for me personally, I believe that there are three different types of support. First off, it's going to be fighting support. What I would recommend is that in fights, you try to lay down a constant layer of fire onto the enemy team while you guys are fighting. Now, the general reason for this is because if you lay down a constant layer of fire, the enemy team is going to have to hold walls. They're going to have to focus on maintaining their builds. And on top of that, they also need to focus on metting up and using their resources to kill you while they're also trying to handle being sprayed. Now, I think that a really big benefit of playing a fighting support play style just like this is that you're able to suppress the enemy and weaken them by wasting their resources like materials, also trying to get as many tags upon them as possible. Basically what I mean is that you should always be laying down at least a little bit of fire. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you don't really know what to do, just start spraying the opponents. That's never a bad idea. What you should also do as a fighting support player, you need to make sure that if they are peeking your teammates, you try to calm that. Also, if there are other third parties coming towards you, you also need to calm that. Just make sure that your IGL or your other teammate knows exactly what's happening. Try to engage from various different angles. Try to make sure that you're able to see the opponent, but maybe they can't see you. That's a really big benefit that a lot of people seem to miss. But overall for fighting support, you just need to support your teammate in whatever type of fighting they are doing, whether that means spraying somebody, whether that means calming any third parties. That's basically fighting support. Now the next type of support is one of the most common. This is gonna be fragging support. Now, if you are fighting, I'd recommend that you support your teammate by doing three primary things. This is gonna be staying alive, trying to get eliminations, and also giving them any resources that they may need. Now, essentially what I mean by this is as you guys are fighting in a mid game or an end game fight, if you guys engage a team together, it's pretty much your goal to get the elimination since you're a fragger. However, also on top of being a fragger, you're a support player. So you need to make sure that you support your teammate by staying alive which is just generally better for team success in game modes. But I also think the really important part of this is that you're able to successfully drop your teammate resources, simply because a lot of times IGLs will forget to calm that they need resources early. They'll forget to talk about how much health they have, how much heals they have. You need to try to pick up on this a little bit earlier. So realize when your IGL is switching through materials, understand exactly when they're gonna need you to drop your mats. And once you get good at that, you're gonna be able to assume it a lot earlier and earlier. But I think fragging support is really important simply because if you're trying to get eliminations, that means that you're gonna have a constant supply of all of these resources to give your teammates. What you should also try to do is focus on getting these eliminations while taking absolute minimal amounts of damage. What I would recommend is that you try to prioritize range weapons. This means trying to get assault rifle eliminations, large amounts of storm surge tags if you can't get the elimination. Essentially what I mean is try to get the elimination as safe as possible and then try to get the resources if you can. What really matters quite honestly though is getting the actual elimination points. People try to say that you need an elimination just for the refresh, but they kind of forget the hidden benefit that it has of giving you a point in the tournament. And while yes, these resources are important, you can get those resources elsewhere by farming, by looting, pretty much doing anything to actually get those resources in a natural way. But in terms of getting eliminations, that might be your only opportunity to do so. So try to focus more on getting the kill rather than trying to go for the loot. Be sometimes if you go for the loot too much, you're gonna be stuck in a situation that you cannot get out of, even if you're supporting your IGL during the fight. But overall for fragging support, once again, I'd recommend that you guys try to get eliminations, try to stay alive and try to drop your resources for the IGL. And then also focus on getting eliminations while taking minimal damage and prioritizing range and limbs. Now for the next type of supporting playstyles, this is gonna be rotation support. Now, if you are rotating, I'd recommend that you keep out a watch for people who may interrupt your rotation. Now what this means is that let's say that you're running through a field during the late game, and let's say that your IGL is building walls to your right side, and somebody is continuously spraying at you. Now what you should try to do maybe is stop, open a window near behind and try to get them off guard and get some tags on them. Now what I mean by this essentially is that you guys are able to get people off of your back while rotating. A lot of times while you're rotating, especially during the new season, people will be able to sneak up on you quite easily. 
they'll be able to lay down a really good amount of fire onto you, especially if you're getting lobby focused. And that is one of the most common situations where support players will need to try to get them a situation out. Now, what I mean by that is that if you're getting lobby focused by a large amount of people while you're rotating, or even while you're boxed up, what you guys should really try to do is try to find a way out of your area, maybe by dropping down to a different elevation, maybe by going to a different area, maybe by rifting, maybe by doing anything to get out of the way. As the leader, your IGL is going to be more focused on what's in front of you and you as a support player should be focused on what's behind you. Now this will not only get you out of many sticky situations, what it'll also focus on is getting you out of a place where people will be able to get your loot. In case one of your teammates does get eliminated, you need to make sure that you're not in an area where people can get your loot and your teammate can get your loot. So if that does happen, that's why backing off through the back angles and side angles of your tarp is a very smart idea for a support player. You can then get the loot and then focus on your own game and rotating forward. And what I'd also recommend is that during the later game when you're boxed up or rotating, you should try to also look behind you and call things that your teammate may miss. Now what I'll see a lot of times with newer players is that they'll be playing and they'll call a bunch of things that are pretty much unnecessary. Like for example, if there's a new player that's playing and his teammate's also pretty new, they're gonna be calming very simple things like, oh, there's a guy to our left, there's a guy to our right. Those people are in front of you, so you'll be able to see them with a very easy peek. The people behind you, however, are the people that you're not gonna be expecting to spray you as much. Especially if you guys have an unprotected backside made out of a lighter material such as wood, you definitely need to watch that. And the really good thing about duos, which is the primary game mode right now, you can divide and conquer one person to each side of the tarp. But then if you're talking about the late game example, when you guys are tarping as a support player, you should inherently try to block off the backside, calm various different people trying to sneak into your tarp, people near you, people above you, people below you. You need to master all the different directions that your IGL may miss because your IGL is more focused on handling the zone and the terrain of the rotation while you should be more focused on the people and the players that might try to eliminate you in this rotation. A support player ideally should be trying to focus on all of these, once again while also dropping them mats and any resources they may need, but overall this is the most important three aspects for support players for fighting, fragging, and rotation. Anyways guys, if you did enjoy the video on exactly how to pop off as a support player, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel down below. I plan to make a lot more videos on exactly how to play roles depending on the game mode, the meta, all of these different things are quite important. But I really did enjoy making the support player guide for you guys. If you guys are interested in me making different guides for different types of players, such as fraggers, IGLs, I made some in the past, but I can update them if you guys are interested. If you feel like that's something that you would want, please be sure to leave a comment. Just let me know. I would really appreciate it simply because I feel like getting feedback from my subscribers is really important for my videos. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.